let me know and I'll I'm more than happy to step in. I think Henry would be a good choice for that exactly and the fact that he's a good shot as well. If you're okay with that, Ross. Yeah, that's fine. I mean everybody can be here for the conversation. It don't have to be just the four. It's just if stuff seems to be uh leaning that way, that's when everybody who's not part of the four is gonna have to he daddle. Just yeah, make I'm sure just we're in case it goes bad. Very yeah. disciplined in this conversation. Yeah, I would like to also say that the Speak four that Andrew. are meant to talk, only talk. It shows, a, as Ivy mentioned before, it shows a bit of power if only a few of us are speaking and not a whole bunch of us. So I think mostly me, Ivy, and you, Raw, speak. Sounds I suppose good. if anyone needs anything else brought up, then you pass someone a note or whatever, and they can read it out for you and address um, it. I don't, I don't want to be argumentative, but I just had a thought. Is it really the best idea to be putting the people who are most important to at least the legal side of owning this business in front of the guns if it comes to that? I mean, well, if we get to that point, it's still not, it's still going to be talking, and we can't put just anybody in the middle of the talking, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, couldn't we have the main people talking, and then if it comes to that, the four could step at least in front of them, give them a chance to back yeah. off before things go wrong, or... It becomes really convoluted and yeah, kind of no. awkward. Yeah. It could be... Uh, things Pretty could scary. be perceived wrong. Yeah. Because then they have questions on who the actual four are, and... It gets weird. The people who need to do the talking are going to be the ones involved if it goes down. All right. And besides, in all honesty, I'm actually, I would be willing to step back uh, because I'm like the only one here, aside from Rose, that has any medical knowledge that I know of. I think it's Melody? Awesome. I know it's true. Yeah, well. Okay. I have medical knowledge. Okay. Wait, I helped. It looks so off. Someone's off. No, I'm not saying I didn't. I didn't. I don't know who <laughs> is medically, you know, trained and who all is, and yet so. I mean, no, I, I have Rose medical does. knowledge, but it's probably not the medical knowledge you want. Oh, I just said that to give Mav a little reminder. Yeah, we don't need I to, don't know want about to insert stuff, bullets in them. Why? No, my medical knowledge is I poke you with a stick. If you move, you're alive. If you don't, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> you actually, sticks in your mouth. Uh, anybody have any concerns to bring up right now before I show up? Usage of the home. Yeah, okay. Let me go over, I guess, uh, my kind of notes that I pulled out of my ass earlier today. Shouldn't be storing things in your ass, Ross. It's unhealthy. It usually gets soggy and wet and stuff like that. This is disgusting. I have special pockets. Okay. I, that <laughs> is so much worse. That special part could probably get it. Never mind. That just I made guess, the hair stand uh, up on my arms. Time. Good <laughs> God. I'm sorry I said I, anything. Yeah. I guess Shouldn't. I know why Ethan made so much noise up there. Uh, okay. 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 So, <sighs> depending on how the talks kind of start or go, I'm basically going to tell him. To, that we're gonna the plan is to keep keep the schedule that we have currently and that implies that they can't fucking do whatever the fuck they want anytime they fucking want meaning they can't just live here or be here honestly um and also i'm going to point out the boundaries of where they're going to operate which is basically within the pen and <clears throat> the little trail leading out past the chicken coop and then basically off the property and another. back again go ahead they are very, the two times that I've witnessed them do their thing, they always go over by the graves. Is that where the cattle, they lead them that way? Or they what do you mean situate, they go over to the graves? Well, I mean, they, they're just all over there with their horses. Like, I don't think they really give too much of a credence as to what is in the ground over there. And just to be cognizant of it and respectful. Okay. And when you saw that, did people talk to him and tell him about that shit? Why I yelled at him yesterday. 
Okay. They didn't say I... a word. Did they move? No. Nope. They just no. didn't say shit. They. They just stood there. If yep. I may. Yep. Hold on. I think part of the reason why they do that is because of the graves over there. There is one person that always oh. stands over there, so they may be stopping the cattle. Potentially, from yes. Over it. But the person didn't bother saying anything, so none yeah. of them did in regards to that. And I don't really that. think they have to stand that close to the graves to do what they need to do. It's just about showing respect. It's important to him. He'll do it. Yeah. It's one thing if an animal willing walk, walks through there. It's kind of hard to stop, but if yeah, the person's exactly. too close, fuck that. And even then, there's a multitude of different places they can stand instead of right on yep. top of yep. the graves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Actually, last time I talked to him, he also, also offered to see if we could get the little fence built around that so that the cattle don't go through there. Uh, I'm, the people. Uh, I no. know. <laughs> I, I, I'd, I'd venture on having him do anything, to be honest with you. It don't matter who does it. Do we think it's a good idea? No. I don't. To have, you don't think it's a good idea for us to put a fence around it? Uh, so people can't go through there. Like that I, can, I can barely hear you, Henry. Yeah, speak up. I said it'd keep deer and whatnot out of there, so it's not necessarily yeah. a bad idea as a whole. And random carts driving through and other people's horses going through. Yeah. Where's the See, it's being a bad idea. Around, as long around. as we can okay. still get to them. You know? When you want to make yeah. it a little bit bigger around it, though. Yeah, it wouldn't be the exact size of the graves. It would be. I was gonna say you would need more room, room for expansion. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it can be to say? expanded. I'm trying to say you never know when some somebody's gonna fucking die. One, two, three, noted. So you're first. Okay, <laughs> I got think... it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I think if we do get a more permanent. Uh, fence down, then we should also look at getting some more permanent yes. headstones as well. Just, you know. Yeah, we can look into that. I know it was a problem in the past, but that was a long time ago. Roslyn? No. I'm not. I'm looking straight at, at my book right now. I think it's a you oh, thing. It's, it's a you thing. Okay. I, saw, I, called, I called first, going in the graph. She turned and looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Uh. Uh, and then, kind of the rest of my notes are if it goes south and basically and tell them how this is our fucking home. This is where we've lived since 1899, and even our dead are here. There's other fucking cattle homes or ranches, but this is our fucking house. Yeah. And if they want to make it an issue, then I'll be glad to paint the landscape with their blood. Now, I have a question for you mm -hmm. four. Do you guys want to come up with a, I don't know, I guess a safe word that whenever it's used, that's when you guys know when to point and shoot. So you have the upper hand. Kind of like what we did when we had that bounty hunter situation. Mm -hmm. yeah, that didn't go too well, though. Yeah, well, that's because no. they were on horses and they had shotguns. Well, yeah. <laughs> We also just stood in one fucking place. Made it real easy for their shotguns to hit us. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I suppose. As long as everybody remembers it. Uh, that would be a good one. Something easy that isn't going to come up mm -hmm. in just regular conversation. Well, I think it's about time y'all leave. I mean, that's simple enough. Uh, but I'm going to say that anyway. That's something mm, that I mean, might fair. actually come up in conversation. Just tell them I think you've worn out your welcome. That sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I think that's good. Or I think you guys have been here a little too long. Yeah. Or something. Fucking skedaddle. <laughs> yeet, yeet. This is the Lone Star Ring. No. You are no longer welcome. Bang. Well... We have to be careful about that because technically we don't have a license yet. No, no, it still would have been cool. If we actually would have had the license. <laughs> yeah, that shit. I'm not. It'd be like, oh, the uh, soon. LSR sends their regards. 
<laughs> if only we still had pump actions. See a couple of horses. Mm -hmm. uh, that that might be... Oh, oh, oh my god. Here. How far are they gonna come up here? <laughs> he should know to go to the rock. Now let's just see. Mm, I think that's him. Let's see. Yep, that's him. The cold so, snake got him. I want some of y'all to get him. And everybody else line up on either side of me. I'll go over and, you know, oh, speed. Yeah, you three. Sorry. Ross? Yeah. The the four should be on me. Like oh, next to me. Trade spots with new app. Leave a and spot just leave for a spot Henry. for it, yeah, and then when he gets back. I just want to oh. make it clear right oh. now. Just that if, anything oh, goes, if anything goes south, I love you guys. You'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Those guys. Jack goes ahead. Jack Dawes. Tell them Why? they gotta go. Oh, what the fuck? Why? Video. They Jesus. can leave. That's funny, though. <laughs> hey, Roz. <laughs> Can I see if I can hit both my new bow from here? No, nope. you can't. And no, it's too far. Can I, can I hit with a pistol? Whoa! No. Thanks for having Ross, faith in me, like... Roz. No, it's not faith in you. It's too far. Hey, Roz, can you get out of your, your book for me? Nope. Yeah, Roz, can you get your... and just like kind of reopen it? <laughs> Please. Like, stare um, at me down <laughs> maybe walk around no, somewhere. I'm gonna stare at you. You're just staring at I'm me. Still, stare. no where You're I staring go. at me to me. <laughs> Roz, so, I... y'all are just too angry. I think. Sam. <laughs> Sam. Well, that's a you problem, Alice. I'm sorry. Alice, you want to gently rope her up <laughs> and gently move her over? Sam. Alice. Just gently rope her. Nice and gently. gently. Okay. <laughs> nice and what? gentle. You so see that? No, it doesn't look it's real gentle right there. Stupid. Or Put anything. your face right into the fire. I might have it. What just happened? I'm so sorry. Oh, welcome in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're just sorry. moving you. Oh, he was, um, never mind. Right here's fine. All right. Well, howdy. You can get a little Speaking closer. Well, I suppose, uh, introductions are new. You can step a little closer so it's easier for everybody to hear. All right, yeah, that'll work. Well, you I want guess to start? Like, um, Poe Ross. All right, Colt, from uh, my left to right, go ahead. Thomas DeWitt. Vander Hall. Major Avarice. Melody Colt. You know me. Ivy Colt, we've met. Yeti. Henry Knight, we've met before. Yes, we have. Wyatt Colt, we've also met before. Yes, sir. Maverick Mercer. I believe we met, yep. We have. Uh, Amber Galbraith. Alright. Rose. Ellis. Ellis, alright. Well, that about covers it. All right. Well, we shall proceed then. You look like met them all already, guys. Yeah, well, most of you have met. Well, we met. Uh, I think uh, we definitely met in passing. I do apologize if I don't remember remember you, because, well, we all know how that is. We all meet a lot of people in this state. Yeah, of course. I used to have a giant book of names of people I met right. and Eventually, it just got too fucking big. I couldn't keep track of anybody anyway. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we tried to do that when we first started the uh, Livestock Association. They didn't work out very well because there were so many fucking people that uh, wanted to get involved, which is a good thing, of course. All right, so uh, obviously we need to discuss any, I guess, uh, rumors or any concerns or anything. Obviously, this is a uh, delicate matter that we have to discuss, and... We understand that, you understand that, and, uh, so, uh, I guess, uh, 
I don't know what you guys are looking for in this meeting. I don't know if you want to start either asking questions or, or whatnot. Well, I guess my question is how come before I even answered what our uh, response would be, you already made plans to move in here. So my answer to that, Rosen, is so that first meeting that you and Poe and I had, I wouldn't call it the first meeting, but, you know, the last meeting that we had. Sure. Um, we were a bit taken aback uh, from, so I'm going to be honest with you, you treated us kind of like children there. Uh, you you absolutely stated that there would no way be, there, there would be no way, any way that we could come in here and, and cohabitate or anything like that, and your folk wouldn't go for it. And there, there, there was no there was no give, you know, it was all take. It was all take, take, take it is the way we, we felt that. Um, so with that being said, you know, it's something that, that we personally uh, feel that it is our legal and uh, God-given right to, you know, uh, cohabitate with you guys. You know, we, we've never done anything wrong, you know, never. Um, we good, honest, hardworking people. We ain't trying to take anything from you guys. Never have, never will. I don't want to take anything. I mean, the association, what we stand for, is allowing every rancher the right to what, you know, the right to livestock, whoever's it is, you know, and, uh, you know, spreading that around the state. So it, it, it's, it's something that we are very passionate about. And, uh, you know, obviously, you guys know it, I know it. It's squatters' rights, you know. Obviously, you've got a lot of people here, mm -hmm. and you got a history here, and I a long that. fucking history. A long history. Now, first off, I'm I'm gonna say it. You get mad at me or not? But but for two years, you guys have been here. Two fucking years. I've been in this state longer than all of you. Two years. You guys have been here. You have every right to be here, but there has to be a time. That you guys need to learn how to share, don't you think? Nope. I mean, if it's with the right folk. Yeah, and I offered you that right, and you took my little bit that I tried to get, allow you guys to have a little something that you couldn't have anywhere else for whatever reason, and now you want to take a fucking mile. I don't know if no. it's because you think I'm fucking weak. No, or I what. don't think you're weak. Because this backhanded shit that I feel from you, that's made me want to turn it all around. Well, I can tell you right now, Rosen, that none of what we're doing is trying to keep secret. We never try to keep a secret. You got to understand that I'm a business. We had to take preparations in things in case things like this did happen. Now, what we want, and, and you know this, I mean, with these cattle, it's not something we can just, you know, come out. I mean, that's something we realized when we when we started working with them. It's not something that we can come out every other day and, and take out and graze. You know, we, we have a lot of employees. We have a whole community by, behind is ranching you know we want to be able to be here safely and not have to worry about rules and all that shit and 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 run our respectable business the way we want it you know we want to be here we want to take care of the cattle we want to feed them we want to water them we want to cut them we want to you know do what we have to do as cattle ranchers you know and and you you have to understand like i, I get it i get it you guys definitely you get a lot of history here and and that's something that that we understand we don't want to intrude on that. Oh, we don't want to live on the house. You know, we want to build a camp out here, build some bunks in the sheds, hell, preserve the fucking gravesite, but be on the fence around it. I mean, they're, they're, it, we don't want conflict, you know. We had to put in the preparations in case things w were to get heated. We, we ain't going to fight no war, you know. It, 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 that's just not something that, that we want to do, something we're not going to do. Guess I tell you, I wasn't even thinking about having a fight with you until you started doing that shit. Until your people started saying we're gonna have a fight with the Colts. Who people the overheard that. that. Uh, ain't You're gonna have to ask your fucking oh, well. bullshit. Well, I've heard it from multiple sources that they're but getting ready I to have a conflict. You, uh, you have a news person rumors. who even said they got a problem with the gang. Oh, so there was also a situation where some of your people went around saying that two of ours kidnapped one of yours. Mm -hmm. Like two, what? A little bit ago. Two of They're our two. people. Mm -hmm. So you're 
some of your employees were going around telling people that we kidnapped two of your people. Oh no, no, I, I'll tell you what that was. Wait, uh, I don't, I don't know about that, but I do know one thing. Exactos, uh, they did obviously kidnap uh, Lithra, and, and uh, I know they shot Wyoming and Lee Colt in the back. Lee Colt's a rancher registered with the association, of course. Wyoming Blue and Lithra Randella are, are uh, board members of the association. That might have been a confusion. No, this would have been on Saturday night. Well, now that's just that you guys never did that. Correct. That didn't happen. But your right. people are trying to say that yeah. because who's there's people? other people. nobody's. Yeah, who's saying this? Because, they don't have I names. Mean, yeah, you're not. You're not going to tell us even yeah. if you did. But you got to understand that I have bullock livestock. My my employees, but everyone else. There's a whole community of these ranches. You know, I don't. I don't control all these people. It's not like we're one big gang. And I can tell you right now, we ain't we ain't prepared for a war. We ain't we didn't even stop what we did prepare, which what anybody would do is we did prepare uh if 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 there was some kind of retaliation, if, if things went sour. But there's no way in fucking hell that I'm going after anybody or hiring anybody to go after anybody. I've worked too damn hard in this state, Poe and I and a lot of other people, to throw that all away over some illegal shit. Right. So, my question is, now, what exactly do you need to run your business? Because currently, as far as I'm aware, it is just the livestock. Is that correct? Yeah, it's just a livestock. Yeah, we work yeah. in the livestock so, with your poet. Why should... So, here's the thing. Why does the deal need to change? Why sh do you need to set up bunks here? Why can't you come here, tend to the livestock, do what you do, and then leave on you know the same basis you've been doing? Why does it need to change? Because Explain I have... Explain that to me. Wait. I have employees. I have employees. We, me and Poe, we don't have a home. We're all scattered to the fucking wind. We're all scattered to the wind. And we come here, you know, we, we, we meet somewhere and we come here every other day. We're whatever the schedule is now. We want to be here. We want to work this ranch. We want to work the livestock. You know, we want to do that because we have every right to do so. See, here's it's the thing. Our, yeah. our only concern here's since day one is that livestock right there. It's our livelihood. I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that, you know, you have a livelihood. But at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah, all of us here, yeah, and people before us have been here since 1899. A lot of them are buried in those graves over there. Yeah. May they rest in peace. Yeah. Now, we are willing to obviously, you know, try and work with you to make sure that things are amicable. But you have to keep in mind with what goes on here, with how long we have been here, the amount of history here. Yeah. It's going to take a lot to just let people come in and cohabitate. We don't mind letting you pro deal with the cattle and stuff like that. But living here, being on the property, that's a lot. That is a big ask, especially when we don't really know you and we have no real reason to trust you. Yeah, which I, I think is me? reasonable enough. Henry, if I may uh, add on to that. Sure, go ahead. By all means. So, you guys are basic civilians, yeah? You do, um, you're on the right side of the wall, right? I don't understand what that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we ranch cattle, as we've been saying. Yeah, I just mean, you're not, you're not yeah. going on the wrong side of the wall. You care about your people, you're do like you do good things, right? That's what we try to yeah, do. Yeah, we try yeah. to give jobs so, to folks in in, in new, you new move, Alexandria. We've given an let her ad talk. And, Don't talk over her. So you want to move into a very uh, yeah. hostile land? You know our history here. You know we don't. We have many enemies here, and enemies for wait, yeah. We have many enemies. You want to put your people in harm's way on this property when we have many threats. And people who, even if, like, we aren't, say we were do good, like, good people, that we, that we still have people who will come here and want to kidnap and shoot people. Oh, yeah, this well, is we'll an that The way that we deal with that, you know, we'll go get the deputy if they shoot one of our, I don't understand what the question is, other than that, we stay out of your business, so I don't see why folks could come to bother us nonetheless. Because people the don't care. Say, hey, you work with the Here's cult, the so fuck what you want. That's what the deputies will say. Yeah. Look, that, that, the issue that's not the now. case at all. I, I know how to doubt that be well, the case, yeah. Okay, just... Here's, here's the issue, yeah. Let's say, hypothetically, entirely hypothetically here, 
we have an issue with another tree, yeah? You're, you know, you're cohabiting with us. This is all hypothetical, by the way. You know, your guys are working here, and someone, you know, a few people from that gang decide to come here looking for trouble. Yeah, they want to fuck with us, whatever. The chances are, they're not going to have a look to see who's got a buckle and who's not. They're just going to grab people, yeah? That puts your people at risk. Or let's say one of us has a warrant, yeah? And the deputies come up, yeah? And we have an issue with the deputies and a shootout happens. Again, your people are in harm's way unnecessarily. That would also further harm your business. Yeah, well, you act like we don't live in a, a dangerous state where there's cannibals about and no, mean we folk do. everywhere. All right, yeah, but like, you're there's compounding. any chance to get pulled off your... No, come on now, Ross. Well, it, well it, 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 it's also somewhere, you know, that those things should be a pastime with you guys, especially if you're going to be opening up a business license anyway. Funny considering Delgado has a business license, like, he don't give a shit about that. He well, still fucking comes after us. He still difference. wants to I, kill I, me. I, I don't know anything about yeah, that, we... Rosin. I don't I'm know. Damn. Telling you, he comes here and he looks for us. Look, I I don't know who Delgado is, Rosalind. I don't know what that has to do with us. You know, he don't. I'll tell you what it has to do with you. He has literally. Held people up at gunpoint who were friends of friends because they were associated with us. Because they were seen with us one fucking time. You're going to get... Look, at the end of the day, we're not going to allow you guys to live here. Or build a camp behind here, whatever. The way I see it, if we want to go forward, the schedule's going to say as it, as it is because then... As it was, I felt that like that was a lot for us to give up because we have a lot of shit that we handle here. And I know that sounds unreasonable to y'all. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But that's not a me problem. I mean, I guess we could take the same approach on all these things that you're saying that we should be worried about coming around here. Jesus Christ. So, I'm sorry, was that a threat? <laughs> No, no, why no, would I, why would I threaten threats. you, Rosalind? I'm Come trying to understand now. what you're saying. Right, you're going to take the same approach. What do you mean? I, what I don't mean understand. Say, I don't understand why, why. What it means to say, Rosalind, is that we, we're moving in on Monday. And oh. uh, <laughs> expect to have arm resistance. His, All right, well, expect yeah, to only have a thing. few of yeah. us. Okay. Yeah, ex expect to yes. gun down a Here's bunch of thing. civilians, and Please, listen up. Here's the thing, yeah. Squatters' rights exist within the state. That's how property You seem to be you. the only people that however, get that. However, we get that. when it comes to squatters' rights, yeah. You can bully your way around. As far as the law is concerned, no, as far as the law is concerned, the people that have been at a property the longest hold precedence. If we left, if we went to live somewhere else and then came back, and in the meantime you came in here, that Guess would be one thing. We home. have been here consistently so you know. for two and a half mm -hmm. years. Yeah, you essentially have no fucking legs to stand on. Yeah, I don't think you understand you how cohabitation rights work and how the property rights work in the state. Yeah, I don't I'll, think you understand I'm how fucking gang well works. Well aware. Uh, oh, I'm well aware how. So yeah, you is, yeah, he's gonna bully us, and I see what it is. Yeah. yeah see, no, I only try to allow you squad rights because yeah. you've been fucking bullying people. That's why. Yeah. It, it is what it is, right? Look, like, you think it, Gus and I are going to be afraid of you because he's going to bully Andrew us. Thomas, bully us and you like that. We ain't here. Uh, we don't want to I mean, we'll fucking cohabitate. We don't want to steal anything from anybody. Nothing like that. We ain't going to go into homestead. We ain't going to go near graves. We even going to build our own camp. That's unacceptable to us. Yeah, sound like it. Where's this camp going to be? I mean, we could talk about it. Well, I don't it. know. Why don't we I talk mean, about it? Let's do. You said behind the... There. You already picked a spot. When yeah. When the hell did I say yeah. I picked a spot? All right, sure. So where's it going to be? We haven't talked about that. I mean, I was thinking the other day, you know, over there in that corner. Or maybe in the trees. Beyond and of course, the other you know, side. Yeah, like, that. there's options. We can figure this out. Bunks in the fucking, you know, in the shed. 
in the sheer yeah i mean the thing is if you want somewhere to stay there's literally a camp on that hill over there you could stay there and you could come down here and you could do whatever you need with the cattle and then fuck off you know there is habitation right nearby yep there's a camp right on that hill you can see it from here What do you think of that? I think it's once again you guys trying to bully us. Yeah. You Gotta haven't seen them bullying. <laughs> if you think this conversation is bullying you. Why well, you just gonna seems... down? You just oh, dead? Come on. Like oh. you do everybody else? Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Oh, you what? have a big fucking attitude. You, it's, you act like you want to get shot in the fucking face. Look, no one wants to get fucking shot here. Obviously. Yeah, no one wants to shoot anyone. Well, first off. Why would you shoot someone over words, anyways? Yeah. Exactly. So, so anyway, you're threatening our livelihood by I'm being not here. I'm your livelihood by yeah, being here. We're gonna threaten your livelihood. That makes no fucking sense. Yeah, this is yeah, our. Please explain. I think I'm done with this conversation because y'all just want to fucking spit back at me and don't want to actually listen. Because I've tried to tell you before. I've told you in the past, and you, especially Poe, just gave me fucking attitude, and that's what made me step up. Until then, I was very civil with y'all. All right. Yeah. Look, you being here, you operating here, not only puts yourselves at risk, but puts us at risk. Yeah. That's not something I'm gonna stand for. And I don't think that any of these ladies are. And I don't think you would want to either. I don't. I don't think you want your people in harm's way, do you? Of course, we don't want our people harmed, but it's a principle. I don't think you understand the dangers that is on this property. I've been, uh, several of us have been just walked out the door and had guns pointed at us and been taken off here. You, I don't think you understand, as I said, the danger, because I'm going to be blunt with this. The firing line don't give a fuck who you are and how good you are. It's the fact that you're working with us. And anyone associated with us is automatically guilty in their eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you right now that uh, the firing line is one thing. You know, I, I'm I'm not worried about that uh, personally. You, you may call be. me you may call me stupid for that, but obviously with it, it wouldn't be no working with each other. You know what I mean? It won't you're be seen that property, way. You're tending to our cattle. They will view it as you working with us. Well, it's. Not really your cattle, but yeah. yeah, it'll be our cattle. So I don't see why they'd shoot us over tending to our cattle. Look, the cattle is not a conversation to have tonight. This is not about the cattle. Is it, your words just there just it, prove my point that you don't understand the dangers. You said that they don't. You don't. That he doesn't understand the. Sorry, not understand that they won't harm you because of the, you're taking care of your cattle. It's the point of you being on the property and working with us. Here's the thing. I'll put it like this, yeah? Have either of you ever been to a war zone? Anything like that? Because that's basically yeah. what this place is. Yeah. yeah with the amount I of have. shit that we have to deal with, this is basically a war zone. Do you want your people, do you want yourself to be working in a war zone all the time? Because that's what this is. I mean, I've been out here many times. I ain't never seen no war zone you're talking about. You are the so amount of shit arrogant. we have to deal with, the amount of kidnappings, shootings, about, it, it is borderline of fucking war. How about how did you guys find out about the, our business license? The what? How did you find out the, about the our business public. license? It's a public I record. asked how specifically you found out. Oh, yeah. I, I looked it up. Public record. Where did you go to do that? Blackwater. Blackwater. Where in Blackwater. It was just the post office. Yeah, I don't understand this. Uh... Why would Public there records be... aren't yeah. being kept at post offices? Not at all. Okay, State separate document. question. Regardless of that. Did you make adjustments to your license after we last talked? Nope. I made adjustments to the, to the license before that. And how did you file those adjustments? 
I follow those adjustments by going on my business license and adjusting it. Just like I've adjusted, you know, with the same with the uh, the uh, employees and, you know, all that stuff. And we used to be a county clerk or a clerk, right? Judicial clerk, yeah. What's the you proper are aware procedure for the, that? So the proper procedure is, as a business owner, and this is something you agree to when you pay for your business license, is that any changes you make to the business license, you are to write a letter to the state that will be filed under you know, your business license right. informing the state government that you have made changes to the document and what those changes are. Ah, okay. Yeah, very cool, yeah. But nice. All right. Thanks, I guess. I don't know. So if you haven't done that, technically speaking, any changes you have made aren't in effect yet. Right. Yeah. So feel, what feel I would advise if you, you like, yeah. yeah. Uh, as as a legal professional, what I would advise is once we're done here, you go send a letter. All right. May I ask you a and question? And you inform them of all the details you change. Uh, include employees with that too. If you would, add would or be... subtract employees from it, right. that would be a change that you also need to inform them of. Gotcha. Yes. But sorry, yeah. Miss Ivy had a question. Yeah. Oh something. yes. Um, yes so just to curb my own curiosity with all of this, um, why would you choose a gang's homestead to rectify your business needs over all the other locations in the state that are uncontested in such a way? Uh, so we actually had uh, a ranch down in New Austin. The uh, thing is, once we moved to cattle. Uh, we realized we wanted to do that full time. Now, this is the only place in the state right now that you can move cattle freely to the hotlands. Hotlands is a good gra grazing area for cattle. Of course, you get, uh, you get the one down at Maddox Pond, but there ain't never any cattle in there, really. And holy shit, have you tried to move cattle in the swamp? No. Emerald but I can Ranch. imagine. Yeah, I would. Why not Emerald? Emerald has maybe one or two cows that spawn there sometimes, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we do have our association there, of course, tips a cow and... and uh, I'm and, not uh, familiar with the word you used. Do what? That cattle spawn there, is that what you said? Oh, sorry. Uh, I probably I just want to make sure I understand. Okay. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to say that. Okay. Um, you know, cattle... Uh, you know, they have sometimes <laughs> they only, they cattle They only have there. two or three cattle in there at any given Could time. the state not import additional cattle for your, so your needs? That, that, is is that, something that, that is something we, we've been working with uh, with the government. You know, uh, we've been, we talked to them in the past and that's something that the association wants to work toward. Now, okay. hopefully that does happen. So why not put your energies into doing that? We have, we put a lot of energies in a lot of areas. And what's the feedback that the government is giving you in regards to such a idea? Well, to that, it's uh, more or less, um, you know, we just bide our time with that. And what's wrong with that? Well, nothing's wrong with biding. They don't want to wait. But, 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 it, it, no, we we waited definitely plenty long. It, it's yeah, just, we waited well long. What it's, if we combine our efforts to help you in that regard? Would that be sufficient? Um, how do you propose to do that? By lobbying the government and speaking to state representatives and other people of legal nature? To help spur oh. momentum on it. Well, we've definitely done that. Maybe not lobbying like like pay people, but we've we've definitely uh, held meetings and and all that to kind of push that through the state. And that's something we definitely want to do. Because I mean, and just hear me out if you will, because this land is so important. My mother and my father and other members of this family are buried here. It's considered sacred to us. That's why we hold it in such high regard. I'm sure if you had a property with that, you would hold it in the same. At least I would like to think. The last thing we want to do here is to be uncivil with each other in any regards, but being able to cohabitate with, you know, a lot of unknowns like you, right? And then your, us to your people, so on and so forth, it's going to spur issues that can totally be avoided if other actions are taken. And I implore you to carry on with that mindset. All right. And I'm not trying to bully you. 
I don't want issues with you. I would love for you to go out and I love watching you guys herd cattle and do your thing. It's a very unique process to, to pay attention to and to be able to witness. And it's something that is such honest work and it's hard not to have integrity when you watch it. But Gus, please, at least think a little bit more long term here. All right. I beg you to do so. Okay. Thank you. Nothing in this manner should be rushed. It's too important and it's too big and it matters to too many people. They already rushed the fact by like setting a date on when they're going to do this shit. Yeah, but it's can be tentative. In that letter, I said I'd like to. Mm -hmm. You also didn't say that shit to me, just to them because they're the business owners. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Look, I, I mean, cows are the most important part of your lifestyle is what you do for work. And if anybody can understand that, we do. We understand that completely. And we respect that. Please don't feel like we don't. Right. Hell, I offered it as an option to begin with. Yeah, trying to help. Yeah, no. So, from 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 what I remember, it was uh. Well, actually, I think I approached you guys at first, uh, asking you to start up a ranch mm -hmm. and uh, and do the wild horses thing because <laughs> you got that thing going. Melody course, is amazing with horses, by the way. Um, and I understand that that was kind of it was not something you guys wanted to do. Um, and then the cattle thing was, uh, well, at first, I, I think when we first approached, we wanted, we wanted to cohabitate and then we talked about it and like, okay, we're, we're not going to do that. We weren't going to step on any, anybody's toes. Um, and then of course the, the idea of a lease, I think you guys brought that up. We didn't bring that up. So that got us excited about that. And, and it's something that, that, you know, we were very passionate about, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh. You know, we, it, it's, the thing is, it's, uh, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's, we have all these, all these businesses and, and especially some businesses that have, uh, that are part of the livestock association. And, uh, you know, obviously they don't pick, yeah. they didn't, they didn't, you know, they're not in an area or at a ranch where there's a big gang there that's, uh, contested, uh, but unfortunately with, with, with us, it's just like, what we want is right here. And, uh, you know, we just want to be able to run our business how, how we want to run it, you know, and, and it's, uh, it's unfortunate that, uh, that it's right here, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I'm hearing what you're saying and, uh, obviously we ain't gonna say something that's decided to not, we got we all got a little, little chirpy, I guess, earlier, but, uh. It's easy because you're passionate over what's important to you. And trust me, right. when I say that, we understand that completely. This homestead has been contested yeah. so many fucking times, it's unreal. Well, right, and it's probably yeah, going to keep and you went and bought him out of it, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, maybe you should be the one to leave because you keep trying to kick off more shit. But this conversation saying, should be... Yeah. Should we just got civil. And you want to fucking poke at us. Yeah, a little bit, Is it yeah. smart to poke a bear? And you got red Ross beer on you. What? I have no idea what you just said. Really, really Paul. It's 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 a beer, red Ross beer. It's a it's a beer of uh, rodeo champions or whatever. Okay. It'll give you the strength to strangle a bear with your bare hands. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> well, it was at first when people <laughs> started getting me because apparently, uh, well, no, it wasn't making people blind, but. But that was a slogan for whatever reason. Uh, let us know if you go blind. Got it, got it. So we can agree to just kind of, what's, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Let's keep the communication open, the dialogue, and let's be respectful and see how it goes. But I would, I would implore you, not here. If you want to work the cattle, I don't 
think anyone here would have any issue with that. Like I said, I enjoy watching mm -hmm. you do it. I think it's neat. Um, but let's let's slow our roll. Let's focus on the things that are important, and let's make sure we're not making brash decisions. Okay. And that's for all sides involved, not just us or you. Right. Does that um, sound amicable to you? Yeah. Thank um, you. That being said, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for now, we need to figure out how we're moving forward until talks continue. Well, um, so I'm sure we are aware that we don't know what exactly these livestock laws entail. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know. I don't know exactly how it works. I mean, even before we get our license, assuming we get it, like, for the time being, I propose we just move forward, at least for this week, and as far as uh, what our previous arrangement is. Because I have a lot of that written in letters, and I forgot to go make copies of it mm -hmm. so I could read it here. But to me, we had an arrangement, an agreement rather, mm -hmm. that was written out even on paper. And I would feel like that's sort of a breach of contract if y'all just started moving in, especially before we agreed to anything different than what we already had. I don't remember anything on paper, but uh, obviously... You know, I, I told you that, uh, um, well, I, I don't remember, personally, I don't remember any agreement about not moving in and all that shit. Uh, but if you have that, uh, by all means, send that to me in a letter. Um, but yes, uh, moving forward. Um, yeah, we, we got to come to an agreement on that. How are we going to move forward with this? Here's what I would suggest. For now, until we can get something properly sorted, continue your operations, you know, as was agreed, which I think is what, two or three times a week? You come Tuesday, by Thursday with your Saturday. people, you tend, there you go, tend to the cattle and then leave. If you guys are looking for somewhere to stay, as I said, there's that camp up on the hill over there. Uh, there's also another one up on the cliff over that way. The larger uh, one. Yeah. At, the, at the top of the mountain. Yeah. So there are two options if you're looking for somewhere to stay temporarily. And then what we can do is if you guys want to find a lawyer or something, we can sit down and we can actually hammer out a contract that will be signed by both parties. Yeah, and that way, if either party is at any point becomes in breach of that, civil action can be taken. Is that agreeable? Um, can I talk to Poe? Sure, quick? absolutely. Like that. Yeah. Bye. I really want to shoot Poe. He's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, he's an dumb. He was the same way last time he came. Him and Gus came to talk to me. Like, you know how I am. I'm usually pretty level headed, but they fucking rouse he files rouse me right the fuck up. Yeah. He that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get you to react. Yeah, I think um <laughs> getting them to sign a civil contract, I mean it will keep them on a short leash. Because at the end of the day, I'm not sure we really give a fuck, but no. it keeps them on a short leash. All we have to do is say, yeah, they can come by, they can tend to the cattle, and then they can fuck off. You know, just set some rules that they don't go in the barn, they don't go in the house, they don't go by the graves, and leave it at that. You know, that's all it needs to be. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. I just tried to quell the anger that was building. No, you did good. Okay. I was about to shoot him, too. Welcome back. Yeah. Um, so it is a big ass. So um, we can't come to conclusion on that tonight. I mean, my suggestion basically means nothing changes until you can get a lawyer. And then when you have a lawyer, we can actually get something properly hammered out with terms that suit both parties. That's oh, what yeah, I was suggesting. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I, I get the, yeah. I get the suggestion of, of the law. That, that's a part that, that obviously we need time to think about. You know, talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's not, that's not in a, it's not something we can answer right now. Which is fair. But uh, as for the other part of the suggestion of just keeping things as is for now, 
Yeah. As far as uh, the cattle, yes. Thank okay. you. To both of you. The one thing I just want to touch on that was brought to me today is that uh, some of your people have been seen over by the graves for one reason or another. One of our people tried to go talk to him to ask him to move slightly. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't even talk to him. They just stood there. Oh, we could have man. make sure that everybody's respectful of that area. I can yeah. understand having like someone maybe, maybe posted to keep the cattle from trampling. Yeah, I appreciate we, that. We definitely do that a lot. Uh, well, every time we move, them, could have been someone who's daydreaming. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Right, well, are we all in a grants for now? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Well, you guys have a good night, all right? All right, Mr. Bullock. Take care. Ride well. You too, guys. Take care. Wyatt, wait. Well, that was a fucking shit show. The guy is not going to live long with that attitude. They plan on just moving in no matter what. Yep. Guarantee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, we can move them right into a grave, if that's over. what they're going to fucking... I don't know who it is, but one of you sounds like you're running down a fucking train track. I think it's Rose. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that but I way. want you... I know Pedro or somebody whispered it quickly, mm. but they have four posted yes. by the graves. So I say that. Uh, graves? Somebody said emerald. No, 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 no. Emerald graves. Okay. Emerald graves. Okay. 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 Oh, good, good work. Yeah, we should so, be back. Here weary in a few minutes, we should be ready. They're yep. not coming back tonight. No, they won't be back. Oh, are you sure oh, about that? Oh, they'll do a fire line doesn't show up when there's only one of us. They're away. not going to show up when we have <laughs> 20 fucking people here, practically. Yeah. No, they will not. He's suicidal at best. Yeah. Well, that was uh, educational. Yeah, that was great. Poe's an idiot. Oh, well, well, he, he is. is a... He was the same way last time. He, came, they he is came a fucking idiot. Me. I was and a bit I ready to walk could... over and knock his fucking mustache off. Why? What's it matter if we've been here for two years? Does that mean our time's up and we have to share our toys and go home? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, we just bully everybody. Mom said it was my turn on the Mom time. <laughs> Dude, if he thinks yeah. that this is bullying, he's got no fucking clue what's coming. Yeah. Until they wake up and sad one day next you week. Wanted to buy yes. I feel like... Can I stay to come to the telegram station with me? Of course. Um, what does it say when... I'm going to the telegram to mother. Not alone, not you ain't. Me. Michelle, fuck I'm Michelle. Um, Sorry. She's got two What did they on. say when oh, you, to buy you guys one. were saying that they're putting their employees' lives at risk by being here? I mean, uh, we don't believe it's a risk. Yeah, Both I've been. Poe shit, guy was stupid. literally said, Oh, I've been here several times and ain't seen nothing. <laughs> well, if you're oh, living so here, you're going to feel it. Because you're here all the time. I'm here. nuts. I get twitchy when I sleep. I did find a letter earlier that said uh, he wasn't planning on doing anything with the buildings. He wanted to build a camp, which he reiterated. Then why like, not just use the one up the hill? Because That's what we suggested. Yeah. Or the fucking house want, in the hayfield. Because they want it all. Or the house in the hayfield. Say that. Or the house with the fucking hill that is under it. Or... They can oh, go the to Emerald Club? Ranch because Naomi yeah. is go only around them. very often. There's cattle there. Like they I only have three just... cows. Yeah, okay, that's what I'll I informed them. I will steal ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why can't we? Yep. It's not hard. They. They're they just want trying that. to take it all, and that's well, why sorry. I. Oh. It's why I sorry, made the suggestion ahead, of the contract because mm -hmm. if they start fucking around. We it's literally as simple as you know file a crim like a, not a criminal complaint a civil complaint mm -hmm. state that they're in breach of contract and we have evidence of that and then that's them fucked. Well, I mean, so it has if, to go to court they... and be adjudicated as such. If the issue is uh, it doesn't the actually have to go to court, here? it would can just get adjudicated um, oh, okay. through um yeah. it, you don't actually have to go to a courtroom for it. If it the issue just be is the, the cows are here, get rid reviewed. of the fucking cows. Yeah. I do have this. I do have this. But I don't. I, that, that ain't gonna happen. I'm telling no. you, that ain't gonna happen. No, I know, but you that know what I mean. Funny, Go ahead, Mel. Go they they actually try. They they were in the works of trying to get more cattle over at the uh, Emerald, but Good. government, being government, 
okay. You can't just make cattle uh, be there. I, they, you know they spawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Pedro yeah, said, what? Yeah, they're fish. You didn't know that? It's like Pedro said. If they want more fucking cattle, come take ours. Go take them to the overflow, and then take them to your fucking ranch. Slaughter them there, and do what the fuck ever. Yeah, it's not hard. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking move into our goddamn home. Just do a one-way trip three times a week. I do have they to want say, to though. be able to do it every day because they have so many employees. I'm like, what's your problem for getting too many fucking employees? That's not my problem. Uh, that's exactly what I think. That's a you problem, not a me problem. Oh, so we have to feed your employees? No. no. Sorry, no, go ahead. I, I've cut you off a few times. I apologize. No, no, it's fine. What's she got? I was just going to add on to, like, I'd be saying the bullying thing. Like, how they think that we're, quote unquote, bullying them. I feel like they forget that we are a, a gang. Okay. And we have had outlaw moments, like, where, and, like, we did go to, like, war with the deputies, like, a long time ago. And I feel like they don't recognize that or have clearly forgotten that and don't know how bad it's, not about it's going that. to be. They're literally just trying to assert themselves here, so we fucking fuck off. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no, I understand that. It's just more of the bullying com um, yeah. comment is that they don't, I'm happily as you said, they, they don't know what bullying is. They have yeah, not seen so... bullying yet. Yeah. Hey, Roz. Yes. Can I make a suggestion? Go ahead. We tell them they're no longer allowed to tend to our cattle and they can tend to the chickens. Uh, no, because they have more legal right to the actual mm -hmm. cattle than we do. Right now they do, yeah. I, I have a license just... for it. I wish I could fucking say that, but we can't I'm really say that. So what time chickens. do they come on Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, or whatever days? It's usually after 8. Okay. Sometime. Okay, I'll, I'll be slaughtering cattle Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays, about 8 o'clock. I would not do that in the short term. Yeah, and I mean, Monday, Wednesday is fine. But in the long term, it's because we, they're not yeah, here on Monday, gave Wednesday. Them, we gave them our word that they can operate business as usual. Yeah, but they're not here Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Yeah, Mon on the they are here Saturday. Right. Yeah, Saturdays, they slaughter. <laughs> so I said Monday it. and Wednesday, they're not here. I hate the fact they were interrupting me. That that's fucking weird as fuck. I will give them credit mm -hmm. that only two of them showed up. Neither one of them had a weapon on them. Uh, one had yeah, a four had weapon. Fact that I wanted to shoot them. Mm, okay. Just I thought Rosin was gonna. I pulled everybody because mm -hmm. I just. I was waiting. I was like, it. "Yep, and we're going." I <laughs> was close. <laughs> Sorry, Roz. I'm gonna go ahead and move everybody. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed a nice hot cup of coffee. Every two of them. No. Oh, that's right. You took a sip and then threw it away. Yeah. I didn't even get to sip it. <laughs> I was using the fact that y'all were still here to not shoot him. <laughs> that was holding me back. All right. Uh, Rosalind, uh, do you want to have a chat real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go talk. Find a different spot. This is my log. <sighs> 